Welcome to this presentation of the master's programs in environmental science. My name is Cynthia DeWitt. I'm a professor of environmental science at the Department of Environmental Science at Stockholm University. I'm also responsible for the two master's programs I'm going to present to you today. So why study environmental science at Stockholm University? Well, Stockholm University is ranked among the top 30 universities in the world within the area of environmental science research. And we have a very strong education in this particular area as well. Besides research and education, we also do much outreach to government agencies in the environmental science area and to communities and municipalities, helping them with their sustainable development goals and to help them solve environmental problems they may have. Our teachers also include some of the world's leading environmental scientists. So we have two master's programs in environmental science. The first in an atmosphere and biogeochemistry and climate change, and the second in environmental toxicology and chemistry. These are both two years long and have 120 credits. We have a third master's program in environmental science in environment and health protection. This is also a two year program with 120 credits, but it's only given in Swedish. So if you think you might be interested in this particular master's program, I encourage you to go to our website and get more information. So the atmosphere, biogeochemistry, chemistry and climate change program has this particular program structure. You first take a course in large scale challenges to climate and environment. And this is taken in common with the environmental toxicology and chemistry. Um, um, program. After this, you deepen your understanding of atmosphere, biogeosphere, and climate change in this second course. In the second half of the year, you then continue deepening your understanding of this field and end with a course in environmental field studies, which is also in common with the environmental toxicology and chemistry uh, track. In the second year, you can either take a 60 credit uh, thesis degree project, or if you want to take more courses, you can have a 30 degree or, or 30 credit or 45 credit um, thesis project and then uh, add more optional courses to your degree instead. For the environmental toxicology and chemistry program, this is the structure. Again, you have the large scale environmental challenges course together with the ABC students. And then you take a modeling course and a contaminant analysis course. And this gives you hands-on experience in the laboratory. In the second half of the first year, you then take several courses aimed at toxicology and risk assessment, and then the environmental field studies course in common with the ABC students. In the second year, you can either do a 60 credit uh, thesis project or you can opt for a shorter thesis project of 30 or 45 credits and take more courses, for instance, in climate change solutions, uh, decision-making and environmental risks, and in organic contaminant partitioning and degradation. I hope you've seen these 17 sustainable development goals developed by the United Nations. These goals have been developed to help nations uh, move towards their sustainable development. And of these, eight are included in our master's programs. Good health and well-being, cleaner water and sanitation, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production, climate action, life below water, and life on land. And the peace, justice, and strong institutions is particularly aimed at the institutions internationally and nationally that are helping us regulate chemicals such as climate gases and uh, contaminants in the environment. Our courses are taught mainly by our professors. And we have full professors, assistant professors, associate professors, all doing research. So they bring their cutting edge research into their into their teaching, into their courses. So this makes our um, uh, teaching um, cutting edge in that respect. 
Our department uh, houses uh, uh, scientists from many different disciplines, from physics, biology, chemistry, geology, toxicology, and more. And this makes our research uh, multidisciplinary and also our education uh, is reflective in this multidisciplinary disciplinarity. We also have uh, professors and scientists from all over the world. They come from all the different continents except Antarctica. And even our students come from all over the world. So what can you do with a master's in environmental science? Well, most of our students have found jobs in their field. Uh, and examples of this are that some have gone on to PhD programs um, and further into academia or directly to jobs after their PhDs. Many of them have ended up in public sector jobs, such as at government agencies and municipalities. And some of our master's students have gone on into the private sector and become environmental consultants, for example. So if you have questions, please feel free to contact us. Besides myself, we have Anne-Christine erickson Dieklund, who is our head of studies, and we have two study counselors, Frida Edberry and Paula Yakala. If you want to get in touch with us, here are the links to our webpage uh, with more information about the education programs and the courses. And here below is our contact information. So please get in touch with us if you're interested or have questions. And I hope that I'll see you at Stockholm University.